Anthony, Dombo back with another check of our forecast. Anthony, the rumor is we could get close to 40 degree weather later this week. I'm starting to get used to it because that sounded warm to me already. Very warm. Uh, I think we've got a shot there by the time we get to Friday, but uh, there's going to be three days this uh, next uh, four days in a row through this work week that we will hit 30 degrees. We've got a projected high tomorrow of 32 with some sunshine getting in there. By the way, today, uh, you know, officially on the climatology report, we did hit 30 degrees mid morning. That was very brief and short lived, though, because we fell back into the mid 20s thereafter with the overcast. Tomorrow we get to 32 with a bit of sunshine, especially late morning and early afternoon. That's the time frame for brightest skies. GR to Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, even the lakeshore should get uh, some breaks for sun tomorrow. But it is uh, Wednesday mid 30s and then Friday, I think upper 30s to near 40 degrees there. Briefly, nice looking shot there on the tower cam into downtown GR. You know, roadways are glossy looking. There have been these light, uh, puffy snowflakes coming down for a number of hours, not accumulating to a whole lot. But, you know, where there's already a snowpack down, the snow from tonight has been accumulating the most efficient and uh, probably a half of an inch or so in that you know that uh, part of the landscape but on the roadways it's mainly just wet there are some slick spots or slushy spots so you want to keep that in mind if you're headed out late tonight for whatever reason 23 degrees we've got on that thermometer a west wind at 5 to 10 wind chills are in the lower to mid teens so it is chilly and we'll drop back into the upper teens for overnight lows this is additional snowfall from these light flurries that is anticipated into the early overnight another dusting something like that at most then it shuts down i think we're just mostly cloudy and 9 degrees at 7 a.m. Janice and Josh we're going to 29 with a little sunshine. You can count on that midday. We'll go to 32 for a maximum temperature. South winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour. So, you know, for the standards of what is still early February, but we are into the second week of February tomorrow. 32 degrees is right on track with where we should be. That is the average for tomorrow. Some sunshine. Yes, as we talked about returns for Tuesday, snow showers in the forecast on Wednesday, light activity. Uh, you know, with temps getting into the mid 30s on Wednesday, there could even be a few rain droplets mixed in as we go late afternoon into the evening. Cooler air will begin to come in on the back side of this week clipper. So uh, some lake effect flurries and snow showers likely drop another coating like we've had tonight into Thursday morning, uh, coating to an inch at that time. And then yet another clipper on Friday. This one has a little bit more gusto to it, guys. So even though we're getting to 39 or 40 by late day on Friday, uh, we may pick up an inch to three inches on the front side of that system before it does get milder in the afternoon. Kind of an odd series of events. Uh, and then the milder air quickly to be followed by an Arctic cold front overnight Friday into Saturday morning, which will have temperatures on the drop. 19, I've got probably a number of hours in the mid-teens during the afternoon. Upper teens to around 20 on Sunday and then rebounding back into the mid 20s thereafter uh, into Monday and probably Tuesday of next week. I do think it modifies though later next work week. We could go back above normal for the first time uh, for a stretch in quite a while. So the pat the pattern and you know the maps are looking a little bit warmer uh, into mid to late February. So let's keep our fingers crossed on that. Coolest pocket of air overhead right now. Teens and 20s showing face milder air in the central plains 40s. But to those were low 60s earlier today in the central plains and a bit of that is the air mass that does come in for later this week to push us well into the 30s for Wednesday. Then again on Friday, west winds at 5 to 10, wind chills in the middle teens. So if you're going out to take that dog for a walk tonight, bundle up. It's still cold. But again, we've got some milder days that are going to be showing up here in the short term. Still these flurries, lake effect variety, they will shut down overnight. But this is the type of a pattern here with a light west breeze and continued cold air coming in over the Lake Michigan waters that we are maintaining some light lake effect. It's really just nuisance type. And again, it does go away overnight tonight. Low pressure in southern Canada. That's the clipper that rides southward, helps to bring in some milder air as well on Wednesday. Initially, will trend colder late day into the evening. So a rain slash snow shower during the morning and early afternoon transitions to all flurries and light snow showers in the evening, a coating to a half of an inch or inch into Thursday morning. Thursday gets to 29, so a little bit colder behind clipper number one from Wednesday. Clipper number two, the one with more juice with it on Friday, can throw down a couple inches of snow in the morning, but temperatures surge well into the 30s late day. It becomes very slushy out there, and then Josh and Janice, it's going cold again. A few flurries over the weekend. High temps, upper teens. We'll enjoy those high 30s. <laughs>